Welcome back to my channel. I know you probably don't have enough time or just don't even want to pay attention to the stock market and everything the entire week. So in today's video, I'm going to compound everything you need to know over what happened last week and what will happen this week. From student loan forgiveness to just the stock market as a whole to inflation and more. First off, what people are probably the most concerned with in the United States is student loan forgiveness. So if you're not aware, somehow, um, about two or three months ago, Joe Biden said, hey, if you have $10,000 of student loan debt owned by the government, then it's forgiven. We will forgive $10,000 in outstanding federal student loans. And a lot of people were happy about this. A lot of people were upset about this. You know, I'm not gonna comment on that. But what has happened now is that it has been paused and it is very likely that the student loan forgiveness is never going to happen. So what happened is six states filed a lawsuit against the government saying that the president acted unconstitutionally for giving these student loans and that essentially he's not able to do this and that it would hurt the states because they would not get the interest from these student loans. And they were able to get their case all the way up to the Supreme Court. And until the Supreme Court hears it, it will just be on pause and it will not happen. So even if you have applied and got the your approved email, unfortunately, you're not going to get it forgiven yet because it's undecided if it was even legal or not. So this leads us to the next question of what will the Supreme Court do about student loan forgiveness? And the Supreme Court is very conservative or Republican at this moment, so it is very likely that the Supreme Court will ban it and say this was not legal. So I would really not be counting on that student loan forgiveness at this point. I could be wrong, it could change, but as of now, it seems to be pointing towards it's not gonna happen. However, one thing that I do think will happen is that Joe Biden will extend the pause on student loan interest payments throughout his presidency. So while it won't be forgiven, I think it's pretty likely at this point that you won't have to pay any interest through this time period. So of course, the dire question of when will the Supreme Court hear about this case? Cause you know, I don't wanna wait. Um, and the answer is that they will hear it in February and the decision will likely come sometime in between February and June. So, you know, government is slow. So yeah, some point before June. The next topic is the overall health of the economy over the past week. So how has the S&P, the Dow Jones, and all of them done the past week? And unfortunately, not great. But also on the upside, not terrible. <laughs> the S&P and the Dow Jones and just the overall stock market as a whole really went down about 3% last week. However, if you look over the past month, all of these have stayed relatively even through the month. So you could say, oh, I'm upset, it hasn't gone up. Or you can say, yay, it didn't go down. But really nothing that major happened that I would say. But I know some other YouTubers out there would probably put like a recession incoming YouTube title, but uh, I just don't think anything has happened in the past week. <laughs> However, while the stock market did not do much over the past week with it going down a few percent, there is a big inflation report that will be coming out this week. Currently, the expectation from economists is that inflation rose 0.3% in November. However, if it rose, let's say 0.4 or 0.5%, that's really bad news because if inflation rose higher than expected, then the feds are even more likely to increase the rates, which would then decrease the economy. And as of now, the economy is completely expecting the feds to only raise rates by half a percent. However, they have not given any indication that they're gonna do so. So this is just really the economy thinking that it's gonna happen and kind of hoping it into existence, I guess, you know, positive thinking. So as of right now, they think there is a 75% chance that there is a half percent increase on federal interest rates and a 25% chance on the 0.75% increase on interest rates. However, if they are wrong and we get a 0.75% increase on interest rates, you're gonna see the economy go down. Like, I don't know how much, but it's gonna go down. So while none of us really know the answer to this, we will find out at some point this week and that is something you could pay attention to. And then the last zero topic I'm gonna to cover over the past week is what are house prices doing? And it is good news if you don't own a house and I guess bad news if you already own a house. So housing prices are going down. In 98 of the top 100 markets in the United States, housing prices have decreased. Now, of course, housing is really dependent on the specific market. So it goes down 
really varied. I mean, it, it could be anything. But the biggest decrease I have seen is in Boise, Idaho, which had about a 15% decrease over the past few months. And while this is the largest decrease I have seen, there is big signs that the housing market is going down everywhere. About 30% of houses that are put on the market have to decrease their prices. So it's not like last year where everyone would put their house out at let's say $400,000 and then they'd get offers for all the way up to $500,000, which was $100,000 above asking. Nowadays, they have to actually decrease their asking price. So that's a good start. And another way to tell that housing prices are likely going down is that the big firms like BlackRock are actually decreasing the amount of houses that they're buying. So if they're not buying them, first off, that just means less people are buying these houses. So less people want them, so the price will go down. But it also means that they think the price will go down. Because if they thought the price would go up, then they would just buy it. So why are the prices going down? And the answer is that the mortgage rates are still super high. So for the past week, well, mortgage interest rates have gone down from about 7% to about 6.3%. 6.3% is still really high. And what this has done is if you already own a house and you got it locked in two years ago at 2% interest, you just simply can't afford to do the small upgrade in house because the increase in interest paid would just make it ridiculous. If you can't comprehend the difference between a 2% interest rate and a 6% interest rate, Let's say you're taking out a $300,000 mortgage for a house. Each percentage point is $3,000 of interest in that first year. So a 4% interest increase would be $12,000 of additional interest you'd have to pay just for that year. Okay, so I hope you kind of quickly understand what has really been going on over the past week for everything finance related. If you're looking forward to this coming week, I would look at first off that inflation number that is coming out there are some job reports coming out and then there will also be retail sales coming out for the month of November which could really tell us how healthy the economy is overall. So now it's time for your favorite part of the video, the joke of the day, joke of the day, joke of the day, boop, 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 joke of the day. What does the baby computer call its father? Data. So thanks for watching my video. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, all that. Uh, stick around, watch the video again another two or three times. Help me get those watch hours up, and thanks.